Laws. Just imagine for one second a country without laws. Words like slavery, domination by the strongest over the weak and all the types of violations of the human rights would have been used in that imaginative world. Just like a jungle, might is right. Does someone convict lions of crime when it eats other creatures weaker than him? In simple words, it would be like the animal kingdom. We would be giving life to Darwin's infamous line, survival of the fittest. Parliament is the institution empowered to make and change laws in Fiji. Our parliament has evolved throughout the colonial days till today. Today, we have a one-house parliament made up of politicians elected after each general elections. This is where the parliament that makes laws for the people to benefit the people. And very important uh, to members of parliament is the voices of the people. Members of Parliament meet in Parliament to discuss new proposed laws called bills. Members of the public are also given the opportunity to make known their views about the new proposed laws before it is finally passed. There are several stages that a bill passes before becoming an Act of Parliament. These stages ensure that a bill is subject to public debate and scrutiny. Some of these stages also provide an opportunity for a bill to be changed. A bill is introduced by being read a first time in Parliament by the mover of the motion. The bill is passed without debate or vote. The bill is then set down for second reading on a future sitting day. The bill is given a second reading in Parliament, where parliamentarians debate on the principles and merits of the bill. If Parliament votes for the bill and it passes this stage, it goes to a standing committee of Parliament. The standing committees examine bills, make amendments to the extent agreed by the committee. A standing committee must report on a bill referred to the committee not later than 30 days after the referral, unless Parliament, by resolution, directs otherwise or extends the 30-day period. Members of the public can make written and verbal submissions on the bill during this duration. Once a standing committee or special committee has reported a bill to Parliament, the bill is set down for consideration by the committee of the whole Parliament on a future sitting day. The committee will sit as it would if it were in session. However, the mace will be placed under the table in the center of the chamber and the speaker will sit at the table as chair of the committee. Procedure is slightly less formal as MPs can speak more than once on any given matter that is up for debate. The intent of the committee of the whole parliament on bills is to review clause by clause the content of the bill. It's a necessary step to ensure that parliament as a whole endorses the review conducted by the standing committee. At third reading, the bill cannot be substantively amended. The debate at this stage is to discuss whether or not the bill should be approved. There will be a final vote on whether or not to adopt the bill. If parliament adopts a bill at third reading, the bill is sent to the President for assent. Once the President assents to the bill, or seven days have elapsed without the President's assent, the bill becomes an act. Lawmaking can also follow a shortened process. This can be done through provisions of the Constitution and the rules of the Parliament called the Standing Orders. Laws passed in Parliament affect our society and the people living in it. Citizens also have a say in the lawmaking process in Fiji. Laws and amendments to laws is a continual process which helps shape our society.